In this video, we're going to be going over a tool called Leonardo AI. It allows you to create images like this and turn them into videos like this. And we're going to be going over a bunch of other cool features on the platform. So let's just jump right into the video. You just need to visit Leonardo.ai and you're going to see their landing page. You can click on create an account and then you'll be able to log in. You don't need a credit card. Uh, they give you 150 tokens per day to use um, to test out the platform, which is nice. So we're going to just dive into it. I'm just scrolling through so you guys can see some of the things on there. These are the models that they have available. And then here's some of the images that people have generated in the past. So let's dive into it. So when you log in, this is what it looks like. You're going to see the image generation, the real-time canvas, the canvas editor. Over here, you have the community feed, the personal feed, training and data sets, fine tune models. You can use image generation. Uh, the real-time canvas, real-time generation, canvas editor, and texture generation. And you also have API access as well. And then you start out with 150 tokens per day. And then I use some of mine today, so I'm at 96 left. And if you want to upgrade, this is what it looks like. And then these are the plans that are available. If you visit the community feed, you're going to be able to see a bunch of images that people have generated and made it public. So you can see some realistic stuff, some illustrations, uh, some anime. So a bunch of different kind of stuff in here. They also have motion as well. So they have the image that you generate and then you can turn it into like a video. So here's a few examples of it. That one's pretty cool. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna generate some images now and then we're also gonna do some image to motion. When you click on the image generation, this is what it's gonna take you to. On the left side, you're gonna see everything from the number of images to the photo reel, if you want your image to look realistic, you can turn this on. You can change the depth of the field from low, medium, high. You can make it raw mode. You can also use Leonardo Alchemy, which is one of their new image generation pipelines. And then if you have a paid account, you can uh, make the images private and you can change your input dimensions, which this will also change the cost of the tokens to generate an image. And you have your guiding scale down here as well. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna have it generate some prompts for us. I'm gonna give it a basic idea of a man playing the guitar, and then we're gonna see what kind of prompts it generates, and we're gonna generate images with that. Okay, it looks like we'll use this one. This one looks pretty good. So as you can see, it just starts generating the image. And that cost me 16 tokens for that one. Because we're using cinematic, we're using the photo reel the alchemy and all this stuff so and this is the image that we got back and what we can do over here is you can remove the background if you would like you can also have a smooth upscale and it tells you what it's good for and there's also a crisp upscale which is what we're going to use for this one and then over here you have the alchemy upscale um, which costs eight tokens and it uh, can improve the faces in hand. So we're going to use the Alchemy Crisp upscale and then I'm going to show you guys the differences. So as you can see, it's a lot more smooth in here. You can see like the pores in the skin a little bit. We'll zoom out and I'll go back to the original image. And then when we zoom in, it's a little bit more blurry in here. You can't see the face as well. And we'll go back to the upscale one more time. You can see like the detail on the guitar and everything as well. So, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the image to motion on this. So all you need to do is you need to go over here and click generate motion video. It's gonna cost you 25 credits and it's gonna make the visibility public unless you're on a paid plan. And you can adjust the motion strength up here. The video has generated now, so let's take a look at it. And we can see the hands moving down here. The hands don't look as good, but at least we know it's moving on the guitar. It's actually like he's strumming the guitar and like moving around to it. So it's pretty cool. If you want to reuse the prompt, you can click this button. If you click this, it'll expand it more so you can see uh, what the prompt was used. If you want to add elements to it, you just click right here. And you can see the different elements and the different lores that you can add to it. And it'll give it a different effect on the image. Now we're going to go into the real time canvas and we're going to be able to just generate images in real time. So we'll put a prompt here. We'll put the beach. We're going to just do the ocean and we'll put some waves here. Some really bad waves. 
and then we'll add in a sun. Okay, and then right here we'll just put daylight. And then let's try to fill in the sky a little bit. Okay. And then we'll add some sand over here. But you guys get the point how you guys can play around with this. And then let's see what else we can get it to do. We'll add a little bit more water. And then we'll put a boat out there. Oh, it's so dark. And then we'll add a boat. There you go. So it just generates it in real time. It's a thing called real time latent consistency. You guys could do more research into it if you guys want to. So what we can do is we can turn on the creativity strength if we want to. And you can see it looks like that. Very similar to like what we had as we go down. And let's go bring it all the way up. Super creative. And then we can also change the environment. So let's make it anime. Go through cinematic, concept art, dynamic, that's the one we had before, environment, fantasy art, painting, photography, product, ray traced. Sketch black and white. Let's turn the creativity back down a little bit. And we'll go vibrant. And then none. So you guys get the point of this. And real time mode, uh, they have it for the premium members. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go look at some other features on the platform now. Okay, so we're gonna go over to the real time gen and we're gonna to try to generate some coloring book images. So we'll turn this up to a seven and let's just put a line. Okay, nice. Let's put a woman. Okay. A lizard. Okay, nice. You guys get the point. So you can change the type of generation that it creates over here. So like cinematic is not gonna give you the coloring book look. Dynamics, the one that we had originally. Environment. So you just gotta play around with the settings and see which one's the best for what you're trying to do. Black and white's probably gonna give you. Oh, it doesn't really give you the best for a coloring book, even though you think it would. So, and color's probably gonna colorize it. Yeah, that's cool. But you guys get the point. You guys can play around with this and see. Turn it up. Let's change the seed. And then, then if you guys like the seed, you can save the seed and then keep reusing it. So, and we'll do a creative upscale. So we'll go to the personal feed and we'll see it. So it looks like it's doing it right now. And then we'll also do an image to motion on this one as well. So we'll just click this and it's generating right now.
So this is the creative upscale that I did. Really detailed. So the video came back and it's got the dog moving, but I don't really like the motion too much because I don't know what that is at the end. All right, y'all, I appreciate you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, just drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I started my Discord community, so if you guys want to join, all the information is below in the description. So I hope to see you guys in there.